As I said, the government's commissioner for censoring the internet, the safety commissioner, has ordered Twitter and Facebook to remove footage of the two stabbing attacks. And that has already affected the country's biggest social media site for a Jewish organisation, which has posted footage of the stabbing of the bishop. Joining me is David Adler, president of the Australian Jewish Association. David, thank you very much for your time. Thank First you. of all, what's happened to your postings? Well, on Facebook, uh, it has been taken down and our Facebook page, the Facebook page of the Australian Jewish Association has been sanctioned at this stage uh, without warning. And it is the largest Jewish platform in Australia. Uh, so it's really important that we are able to communicate uh, with the community and uh, share relevant information, inform people, uh, etc. cetera. And uh, uh, it, it's still up but uh, the video has been removed by Meta and uh, some restrictions have been imposed okay. upon us and a warning. Now, David, you heard the New South Wales Premier earlier say, just a few minutes ago, the footage should be taken down. He had yeah. trouble imagining a good reason to show stabbings and things like that because it would sow divisions, he said, and make passions boil over. Does he have a point? What is your reason for showing what would uh, footage that would distress some people? Well, we treat our community uh, as adults. Uh, we don't believe in treating people as the proverbial mushrooms. There has never been a successful society uh, built on hiding truth. And there are a couple of uh, really important big issues that deserve debate and deserve debate exposure. In the case of the event at uh, Westfield, Bondi Junction, uh, the alleged perpetrator is someone who has been uh, supposedly having a significant uh, schizophrenia, uh, mental health problem out of control, and we closed our long-term mental health facilities in New South Wales years ago so there is a debate to be had about uh, the treatment and safety associated with the severe end of mental health issues. Regarding the event concerning the stabbing of the bishop in the church at Wakeley, uh, the allegation is that that was an example of a Islamist, a young guy, uh, driven by That's the allegation. Uh, we don't know for sure. That's the yeah. allegation. Uh, uh, Islamist motivation. And if that is proven to be the case, uh, then there is a debate to be had about how we deal with that. So we think that uh, rather than sweep it under the But do the you carpet, need to actually show the footage to do that? We're having the debate. I, do you need to show the footage? I think our population needs a wake up. Uh, the ASIO chief again reiterated that the largest single threat to Australia's security domestically was uh, radicalised Sunni Islam. And uh, so this, is, this has uh, authoritative background, backing. And uh, our society has been largely asleep and our politicians have been unwilling to properly debate it and deal with it. And frankly, the only way to move politicians is with public pressure. And the only way to build that public pressure is if people are properly informed. Now, I'm not recommending that everybody should see the footage, but I think that we need to uh, treat mature adults as mature adults and have the choice. The censorship, the sweeping well, under the carpet. It seems to me, David, Never sorry works. to interrupt, I'm just running out of time, but it, it, it seems to me what you're trying to do is ram it in people's face like this is the consequence. A little bit, look, uh, this is a much more dramatic example, of course, but mm. I remember it used to be how one photo of a girl in Vietnam burnt by Napalm in the Vietnam War absolutely changed the debate. You could not look away from her running, screaming down the street from those injuries that had, a, that had consequences. And if those, those consequences would not have been made without seeing the photo. 
Now, I think it's overstating the case to say that your footage of the bishop being attacked uh, had to be also shown. But is that the point you're trying to make? Uh, don't look away. This is the consequence. I, I, we, we believe in, in, in truth. And you're right. The Vietnam example of that uh, poor young girl uh, changed the debate. It, it focused people on the reality of what napalm can do to civilians. And uh, perhaps it was one of the factors that uh, led to the end of the Vietnam War. Well, I can uh, see that. Mm. But I can see so, that argument. I'm not 100%. Look, I'm uneasy, David, because I also know, you know, look, I'm uneasy, but I actually see your point, and I'm very suspicious of censorship. Uh, and I do think people too often look away without you know, thinking what the actual consequences of some of these social policies deliver. David Adler, thank you so much for your time.